Hi everybody, it's Mrs. Jones here. I have a couple of fantastic picture books that I wanted to share with you today. Uh, I love sharing picture books with students um, when uh, we're doing narrative writing, but I find it's really hard to find really good picture books um, for persuasive writing or opinion writing. And the Common Core State Standards say that we need to have more persuasive and opinion writing in younger and younger grades and we need to have more of it. Um, basically, the, uh, in the grade level I teach, fourth grade, students need to have kind of a five paragraph essay mastered at that grade level. So my students love picture books. Picture books are great for anywhere from the lower elementary all the way up to junior high and high school. So here are some examples of some books I particularly like. Um, this is from a series um, called Pick a Picture, Write a or an Blank. And it's published by Capstone Press, which is a great publishing company for educators. Um, there's, uh, in the series, there's pick a picture, write a story, pick a picture, write a report, pick a picture, write a poem, and this book, pick a picture, write an opinion. And uh, what I like about this book is it not only has um, some great information, like starting out with what is an opinion, the difference between fact and opinion. It tells students how to get started, how to get to the point, how to develop their reasons. Um, it also has writing prompts. So here's one of them. Um, who is your hero? Then we have the best pet. <clears throat> TV or no TV. Should kids do chores? So it has really great um, prompts for students that they're really going to find interesting. And then, like I said, it has great color pictures. It goes through all the steps of writing an opinion. It really is a fantastic book, and I'm actually excited to get some more titles um, in this series, which is a, uh, a new series. So this is another um, persuasive book that I really like, and it's called A Pig Parade is a Terrible Idea. And it's illustrated by Kevin Hank, uh, Hawk, excuse me, who um, should be familiar to a lot of uh, teachers who teach in the primary grades and um, read a lot of picture books. But this picture book is probably more appropriate for your middle or upper level um, readers simply because the vocabulary in this um, is really quite sophisticated. So let me give you an idea of something from, uh, from the book. This is just one page from the book. It said, also, pigs absolutely refuse to wear majorette uniforms. Even if you are able to find enough majorette uniforms for all your pigs, which is a very difficult job in and of itself, just try getting those hundreds of pigs to put them on. So actually, the, although it's a picture book, it's quite sophisticated in its vocabulary. So um, it starts out with the author's thesis statement that a pig parade is a terrible idea. And then it goes through very clearly explaining all the reasons why a pig parade is a terrible idea. And the author actually gives five reasons why a pig parade is a terrible idea. So lots and lots to work from. <coughs> and then the best part for me is at the end, the second to the last page says, a panda bear parade, on the other hand, would be fantastic. So that's a great jumping off point. Um, after you've um, had the kids go through the evidence that the author uses um, and the reasons, have them do a panda parade and why a panda bear parade would be a fantastic idea. Um, and also has this little picture at the end. So <laughs> makes me even wonder a little bit more. So this is another fantastic picture book. So I hope this helps you in your quest to find really great picture books to help your kids improve in their persuasive writing. Thanks for tuning in.